derived verbs. Uh, we call it Felo Thulasi uh, Mazid Fihi. You know, from three letter verbs, other verbs are derived. So these are the derived form of three letter verbs. If we study this a little bit, not too much, because we cannot go in too much detail, then it will become very dry for you. A uh, little bit. And it will strengthen us in our verbs, conjugation of the verbs. So, <clears throat> we start today, brothers and sisters. I will uh, <clears throat> be doing something like this today. These are supposed to be equal, but now I am not an artist. But <laughs> so, it's called Form 2. Huh? Form 2. Huh? Also, we call it Bab Taf Ilun. This is something I'll be explaining you, brothers and sisters. Okay, Bab Taf Ilun. Okay. And you have to remember one thing, brother. Samaiyun and Hiyasiyun. You will remember these two terms, brothers and sisters. <coughs> now, Fa'ala, <coughs> which is the root of the verb. It is a pattern which the scholars have given to the root of any verb. It is divided into three letters. Fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. We say first radical, second radical and third radical. The city authority has given permission to fa ala to build a house with three rooms only. Every radical occupies one room. Okay? So they have three rooms which the city has permitted to build. You know, we got to get city permit before we build the house. Now, in Arabic language, which is the most beautiful thing, brothers and sisters, that when you want a different shade of meaning, you go to the root and add something. Instead of creating an altogether new verb, you create from the root. This is, this is an amazing thing about Arabic language, brother. I know a little bit of Urdu and Gujarati and Kachi and, you know, we know English. These things are not there in those languages, you know. But in <coughs> Arabic it is amazing. Brother. Normally, <coughs> fa'ala, we call it form one. Form fa'ala, we say form one, you know. Or you can say base form. <clears throat> now they decide to extend the house. But the city cannot give permission. The city has given permission for only three rooms. Now they want to extend it. So city says, okay, make a small room. Okay, no more. Okay, so then we make a small room now. Okay, we make a small room huh? and we give to Ain Kalima. Okay, so what is now happened? What is the verb now? Fa'ala. Huh? Fa'ala. Huh? So it became like this, brother and sister. Fa'ala. Fa. Small room for Ain, huh? which became. <clears throat> the study of Fa'ala comes in lesson 16. In that lesson we go in detail. But right now we'll just explore it from the surface. <clears throat> Fa'ala. So whenever you'll see a Shadda on Ain Kalima, huh? remember Ain Kalima, 
the possibility will exist that it is from form 2. We call it form 2. Okay, brothers and sisters. Also, it's called Bab Tafail. Now, this is, you will find it in the books written in uh, Indian Pakistan subcontinent. Uh, especially the grammar, Arabic grammar books written in Urdu, you will find this terminology. When I was studying in Lahore, I came across this. First, it said, I know form 2. Why should I remember Bab Tafail? You know, I know form 2. But then later on I realized, you know, in order to understand things in a nice way, it's also important that we should call it Bab Tafail. Huh? So I will be asking you and telling you form 2 as well as Bab Tafail. Because that Tafail thing will make things very clear, inshallah, and will make you very strong. Huh? Okay. What is Tafail, brother? Tafail is the pattern of the master that you derived from form 2. It is the pattern of the master. And I thought, you know, this is nice. Okay. So all the forms that will be doing it, we will be calling it form 2, form 3, form 4. But at the same time, I would urge you to memorize the pattern of the uh, different forms. Now, why so important about this pattern, brother? Okay. Fail Sulasi Mujarrat, you know? The pure three letter verbs, brother. Okay, which we call it base form or first form, brother. How do we make master? Are there any rules, regulations? No. There are about forty patterns of master from fail. So last thing, Mujarrat. Well, this is too much. I want to go home now. <laughs> I can't study 40 patterns. But then, you know, you, you do get gabrified. That is too much. How we are going to memorize it and remember it. But Dr. Abdurrahim always says, you know, do not sit down and memorize it. As they come in front of you, you remember it. Okay? For example, brother, Sajada Yasjudu. So, Jude, so it is for all. Huh? Okay, and that's one pattern. Huh? And then, Nasara Yansuru, Nasrun. Falun, see? Zahaba Yadhabu, Zahabun. Zahabun. Huh? Falun. Huh? Like that. Are you with me, brother? So, these are the patterns. They are called Samai. What are they called? Samai. As people heard, uh, other, other, other groups speaking these different forms of pattern and they incorporate it in their vocabulary and language. Now I am in my, you know, uh, thoughts, I always say, okay, Arabia, you know, at the time of Prophet Sallallahu or before, it was all small, small tribes staying in certain areas, you know, there was no form of government as we know it, you know. Okay, the city of Makkah and Yathrib, Medina, huh? okay, they were more organized, but otherwise people were in small groups scattered all over the desert. Wherever there was a water and pasture, they would settle down. And when the water finished, they would move and find different areas where they can have facilities for their themselves and for their animals, brothers and sisters. So they were scattered and they had different uh, uh, masters they created without any rules and regulation. So this is called uh, Samai, uh, as they heard it. That's why, brothers and sisters, Fial Fulasi Mujarat is very difficult. And truly speaking, it is difficult, complex, and you have already mastered it. Uh, you have mastered the most difficult part of the verb, and the rest of it is all easy. You know why? In Fel Fulasi, we had six forms. How many forms in uh, form two? Just one. Okay? And everything is fixed. Uh, the master 
from form 2 is called Kiyasim. Means it has a fixed pattern, brother. You don't have to worry. And what is that pattern? Tafailun. And it is so beautiful and easy and most of you already know it. When you will uh, see it being a master being made, it is going to surprise you, brother. So we will, inshallah, try to remember Bab Tafail. Huh? And remember with the Samai and Kiyasi. How do you mean? Kiyasi means it has got a measured pattern. Samai, as people heard it from each other and they started using it. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, Fa'ala. How many letters now in the word? Four. So the Alamatu Mudariya, which was normally Fata, will get Dhamma. Another thing to remember. Okay. So, Fa'ala. Okay. I, I give here now a pattern, brothers and sisters. Allama. What is the root? It is coming from Alima. Huh? Allama. Now we make it into Mudariya. First it will be you, and then again a, uh, and then the Ain Kalima gets a Kasra. Are you with me? Allama. You Alimu. Are you with me? Alima is to know. Allama is to to teach. Okay. Brothers and sisters, now we come to Amar. How do I make Amar? What is our normal procedure? One chop. Do I need Hamza? No, I can pronounce. Huh? Huh? And so, what will be the Amar, brother? Alim. Hmm? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, we make Ism file. How do I make Ism file? Just remove that U and put Mu. Mu'allim. Huh? So it's very easy. Whenever you see a noun with a mu, you will immediately try to figure out. And it will be possible for you to figure out how it came into you know, existence. Brother. So here it is. Mu al li mu. Now by changing this kasra into fatah, I get ism maf'ul. Huh? Ism maf'ul, brother. It will become mu'al la mun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, <coughs> you can also make from this uh, ismu makan and ismu zaman, huh? which is on the pattern of ismu maf'ul. Huh? Inshallah, we'll be practicing it. So I'm not going in too much detail, brothers and sisters, but we'll be practicing it. Okay? Now, let us do one more. Kabbala, huh? <clears throat> which is coming from? This is, the root is Kaf, Ba, and Lam. But the verb that we use in Fail Solasi is Kabila, huh? to accept. Kabbala, huh? to kiss. Okay? And then, brother, what will be here? You Kabbilu. Huh? And what will be the Amar? And what will be here? The person who kisses. The person who receives the kiss will be called? Hmm? 
Hmm? See how the Qasra and Fatah changed it. Huh? Okay. <coughs> Brother, I forgot to tell you about the Mastar. I should have done it right away, but doesn't matter. What is the Mastar of Allama? It's going to... Sh- Where are we? Talimul Islam. Huh? Teaching. Teaching of Islam. So brother, remember the pattern of the master, brother and sister? Tafailun. What is extra in the root? Ta and ya. Ta with a fata and ya with a uh, sukun. Uh, ya with a sukun. So it will be, you take the root and it will become ta li mun. Now remember, in the grammar books, they always make the master and make it mansub. So you will find it is ta'aliman. But for us, ta'aliman is also good enough. Okay? And what will be the master of? Hmm? Takbirun. Huh? Kissing. Huh? Tak be lun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. I write a couple of more words, brother. Sabaha. It comes from Sabaha. What will be the mudariya, brother? You sabbihu. You sabbihu. What will be the amar? Sabbihu. It comes in the Quran all the time. Sabbih. And then... Huh? Musabbi huh? Hun huh? Mu Sabbi Hun Now we have to understand that we are following certain rules in conjugation sometimes the verb may not be used in that way but for doing something methodologically and systematically we can conjugate huh, fine and then Musab ba. Okay, what about the. I knew tasbih from my childhood. Tasbih. Why do you use tasbih? To glorify Allah. Huh? Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. Okay. And talking about subhanallah, now we will learn subhanallah in this, inshallah. <clears throat> so it is, brothers and sisters. Tas bi hun or tas bi han. Are you with me, brother? One more. Ballaga. Ballaga. Mudaria. You balligu. You balli. Gu. Huh? Amar? Balik. See, it is so easy. Very easy, brother. Balik. Huh? And what will be here? Balik. Huh? And then here it will be? Balik. Did you say tablik jamaat? (laughs) 
and then the <clears throat> Salama. Hmm? You salimu. You salimu. And then salim. Salim. Then, brother, musallimun. Musalli And then it can be Musallamun. Maybe it is not used, brother. Musallamun. As I said, some of them may not be used, brother. But we can form according to the method. Uh, and then what will come here, brother? Taslim. Huh? See? We know Taslim, we heard it. Every day we say, you know, in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayu alladhina amunu sallu alayhi sallimu tasliman. Huh? Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. <coughs> I'll write down here. Taslimun. You got an idea, brother? Okay. Let us take the sheet. Hmm? Now let us start from the beginning, brother. Hmm? Allama. Allama. Allamu, Allamat, Allamata, Allamna, Allamta, Allamtuma, Allamtum, Allamti, Allamtuma, Allamtunna, Allamtu, Allamna. Huh? Now this we can understand and do it very easily. Mudariya brother. Yuallimu, yuallimani, yuallimuna. To allimu, to allimani, you allimna, you allimna. Are you with me, brother? I request you to say it with me, all of you. Uh, it will make you strong, okay? Uh, and it will make you think. Hunna, you allimna. Hunna, you allimna. And then, brother, anta, to allimu, to allimani. To allimuna, to allimina, to allimani, to allimna, to allimu, no allimu. And brother, about the Amar, allim, allima, allimu, allimi, allima, allimna. Now brother, you have to practice. You make practice, especially if the verb is nakis, or has a different ajwaf, that if you make practice, you will become very strong. Okay? And then from here, we get mu'allim, ism file. And what is our master? Ta'aleem. On the pattern of? Ta'fa'ilun. So we have to register this pattern in our mind. If you re register this, and call this bab ta'fa'il, bab ta'fa'il, brother, you will never forget. And every time you come across this kind of a pattern in the Quran, you know it is the master from Bab Tafail, form two. You will be able to know it. Okay, brother? Okay. Sawwara. Sawwara. Huh? All the meanings are given there. You huh? sawwiru. Huh? To photograph. Huh? Okay. Paint a picture or something, okay? Brother and sister, sawara, sawara, 
सौवरु सौवरत सौवरता सौवर्ण सौ वर्ण वेरी गुड सौवर्ता देन इज ईजी बद इन शाह तुम तुम ती तुम तुम न तू ना यु सौ विरु यु सब वीरानी यु सब विरु न तु सब विरु तु सब वीरानी यु सब विरण यु सब विरण अंत तु सब विरु तु सब वीरानी तु सब विरु न तु सब वीरी न तु सब वीरानी तु सब विरण उ सब विरु नु सब विरु कर द आइडिया एंड देन अमर ब्रदर सब विरु सब विरु Uh, and we know it huh okay but i some fire i have you have you heard this musawir somewhere huh huwa al khaliq al bari wal musawir but now as soon as you hear brother khaliq i know khalaq yakhluq wa huwa khaliq and then brother khaliq and then makhluq isam mafur huh and then we have bariyu it is also has the same baraa from that bariyu and then now we have musawwir mu ha huh? and now what is it musawwir or musawwaru if it is musawwir it is ism fa'il if it is musawwaru it is ism maf'ul fine and brother make a... what did i say? did you say tasweer ha huh? तस्वीर बनाता हूं ब्रदर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर सो हियर वी नो दीज वर्ड बट वी नेवर न्यू वॉट दे वर हाउ दे वर मेड नाउ टूडे यू कैन नो एग्जैक्टली हाउ इट वॉज मेड दैट इट इज द रूट इज savara are you with me the root is savara and when you say tasveer tafail it is the masdar from savara immediately you know your computer will start calculating are you with me so tasveer here is the masdar from savara so any time you will see anything coming on this pattern you know it will be like this you know <clears throat> so <clears throat> alhamdulillah you are going to love this brother okay next one is brother waddaha to clarify something huh? okay waddaha waddaha waddahu waddahat waddahata wadahna wadahta wadahtuma like wadahtu i clarified wadahna we clarified fine and mudariya brother you wadihu you wadihani you wadihuna tu wadihu tu wadihani you wadihna you wadihna and inshallah you will be able to do it ha eh amar wadih it's easy wadih ha You don't have to think. Shall I put Hamza? Bring Hamza, or then give a kasra to Hamza or damma to Hamza? No, no, no. It's very simple. And is a file, muwadde. Is a maful thing which has been clarified, muwadda. See? Huh? Okay. And then master, tahdi, tahdi. Huh? Alhamdulillah. But what can be more beautiful than this? it's so easy so scientific so logical huh? like mathematics but fine ballaga 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 ballagu ballagat ballagata ballagna and then we follow you balligu you balligani you balliguna tu balligu tu balligani you balligna amar balli also comes in the quran huh? Huh? and then brother and sister ism fa'il muballig ism maf'ul muballa now remember ismu makan and ismu zaman is made on the pattern of on the pattern of ism maf'ul inshallah we'll come to that very soon master 
تبليغ باب تفعيل تبليغ اوكي بدا سبح اوكي يسبح يسبحاني يسبحون تسبح تسبحاني يسبحنا يسبحنا انت تسبح تسبحاني تسبحون تسبحين تسبحاني تسبحنا اسبح نسبح ذيس ويل اول كم ان ذا قران هذا امر سبح سبح سبحوه ات كمز ان ذا قران ها سبح سبح سبحنا اوكي اند ذن مسبح مسبح اند ذن تسبيح برادر اند سيستر اتس اول ان ذا قران جي سورة الأعلى how does it start سبح اسمع ربك الأعلى what is this brother رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم got this revelation so it was to him that the Amr came glorify your Lord the High are you with me now today when you read the Quran brother The revelation is coming to you. Allah is now revealing the verses to you. So, who gets the uh, uh, revelation? The one who reads. Sabih. It is to me that Allah is asking me. That is the wonder of Quran, brother. That the Quran is always fresh. It's perpetual. Huh? Doesn't get old. And it will remain fresh and everlasting till the end of time, brother and sister. I would uh, recommend you to read a book called "Way to Quran" by Khuram Murad. It's only for two dollars, brother. If you read this book, sisters, you'll love it, brother. Uh, and this is where he said, he says that you know, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received the revelation and he passed on to us. Okay, but when you read the Quran, now the revelation is coming to you from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Huh? Now you are receiving the revelation from Allah. That is the feeling we will feel in our heart because Allah is speaking to us, always in second person. Now instead of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you are reading it and you are receiving the revelation. Those are the feelings we must create in our heart when we read Quran. that Allah is talking to us now huh? so if you get a chance do read this book brothers and sisters haddasa ha you haddisu haddasa haddasa haddasu haddasat haddasata haddasna fine you haddisu and we can do it brothers and sisters and amar haddis does it come in the quran yes huh لم يجدك يتيما فاعوا ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فاغنى فاما اليتيم فلا تقع واما السائل فلا تنع now allah is talking to you brother he is addressing you <laughs> that's it is in second person brother. and then allah says اما بنعمه ربك ف at this see here it is and when you will read this you will understand quran in its original matan no translation i know what the word means and i know it in arabic and i know how these verbs were created they were formed so you know your understanding will be directly straight from the quran huh? straight from the quran and it will make you test the beauty and eloquence of the quran which is a miracle in itself okay well and sisters now i go to nazala are you with me brother nazala nazala nazalu nazalat nazalata nazalna nazalta nazaltuma nazaltum nazalti nazaltuma nazaltunna nazaltu nazalna ha ma sha yunazzilu it comes all the time yunazzilu yunazzilani yunazziluna 
tunazilu tunazilani yu nazilna ha then anta tunazilu tunazilani tunaziluna tunazilina tunazilani tunazilna unazilu nunazilu what is the amar nazil and what that what is the isam file munazil allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what is thing which was brought down munazzal oh brother tell me the master what did you say no once you know tanzil system and as you don't have to translate because you know exactly what tanzil means where it came from huh so our understanding will be direct from the quran tanzil and you know it is a master tafail and what is the verb it is nazala and what is the root huh nazala huh it is the root nazala yanzilu then from nazala inshallah now you will be looking to the wonders of the arabic language right in this uh, uh, thing that we are doing you will see the wonders of arabic brother azana huh he called the prayer azana huh you azinu azin if you say azin to somebody means make a call for the prayer give a azan huh and make it is some file Ah, uh, he's a Muslim, but today you know, mu azin. Okay, it is ism file. It's coming from azana. Everything you will know, brother. You will know everything. Fine, brothers and sisters. I did this too, and I left, brother, the two to do it again. Now comes narkis. Now, if you are strong in narkis, then this is halwa puri. If you are not strong in nakis then these are hard chickpeas and you have to chew longer brother okay are you with me brother this is very beautiful ha huh? maybe i should rub a couple of these things brother brother some uh, Huh? What will be the mudariya? You sammi. You sammi. Oh, Amar. That's all. Huh? And then, isam file. Isam maful. This is how will you write down? Hmm? And then Now here there is a slight change. Huh? The wazan was tafailun, but if the verb is nakis or if the verb ends with hamza, huh? then the pattern changes to are you with me brother this is a pattern for nakis or the verb ending in hamza are you with me brother and sisters now remember one thing all these things we are going to study in detail in lesson number 16 i'm only helping you to know it on the surface huh? i'm taking you on a little, little tour of these verbs huh? and the next one i will write down brother salla amar uh, mudariya brother you salli and then salli How many times you say? Do you never know? You never knew. You never knew what it was. Okay. And then what will be here? Musallin. Musallin. 
Okay? And then what will be here? Musallan, like that. And what will be the master, brother? Tas liya tun. On the pattern of tafa ila tun. Okay, brother. Now. No. Tafa ila tun. No selling. Tafa ila tun. And it is part of the root. It is part of the root. See? Do you see ya here? What is the root? Huh? Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So this is a slight change. Okay, brothers and sisters? <clears throat> now let us use our knowledge of nakis here and see can we do it? Brother, when you see nakis verbs, in these derived forms, I request you to conjugate. You conjugate and you'll become very strong, brother. And day by day you'll become stronger and your knowledge will increase, brother. And when you will read the Quran, all these things will come in front of you. Okay, brother and sisters. Some, uh, let us conjugate. Some, uh, some, uh, yeah. And then, some some mouth uh, see this is you have got to use your knowledge okay masha mashaya mashau mashau jara jaraya jarau rama ramaya ramau are you with me and sister samma sammaya Sammau, sammat, sammata, sammaina. Huh? Then when you come to mutaharik pronoun, the root opens, you know, and the ya became reasonable, visible. Sammaina, sammaita, sammaituma. And then you can carry on. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now let us do the mudharya. Huh? See, nakas undergo many changes and we got to be strong to figure out, okay? You sum me. Uh, you sum me. How will I de- define you sum me? Fialun mudariyun marfun bi dammatil mukaddara. Okay. And then you sum me. You sum me. Yani. You sum muna. Are you with me? Yamshi. Yamshi yani. Yamshuna, Yashtari, Yashtariyani, Yashtaruna. Okay, are you with me? Remember Nakis, brother. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, we say, You sum me, you sum me yani, you sum muna. Huh? And then, to sum me, to sum me yani, you sum Mina, all you did was put a noon. The food was ready for you. Huh? You just put the noon and you pronounce. Huh? Because Motaharik pronoun came and the Lam Kalima got a sukun. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So you sum Mina. Anta, to sum me, to sum Miyani, to sum Muna, to sum Mina, ready. Huh? Then to sum Miyani and to sum Mina. And then, usammi, nusammi. Got the idea? Amar. How do we make amar? Pada Hassan? Now here, chop, chop. Huh? Okay, one chop here, one chop here. What is left now? Sammi. Fellow amrin. Mabniyun ala adhfi harfi illa. See, brother, you will become expert now in all these things. Inshallah. Huh? And then, Sammi. Then you will say, Sammi ya. And what will be? Antum. Sammu. Only Sammu. Huh? You will say Sammu. Because it is Sammu na. You Sammu na. You just say Sammu. Huh? Fine, brother. And then, uh, Musammin. Why Musammin, brother? Remember I told you, I'll repeat 
just briefly, brother, this is where I indicated to you that how do you make ism file from nakis verb, brothers and sisters? Masha yamshi mashin kada yakdi kadin. Actually, it is mashi yun kadi yun. Okay, look at this, brother. Uh, because this is what we are going to do in detail in the first lesson of book three. And truly speaking, brother, even when I saw the book three for the first time, I was totally gamified. I said, Ya Allah, how are we going to study this? Each page has so many different things. But when you study slowly, slowly, brothers and sisters, what happens? You fall in love with book three. Because it is so beautiful. And this is where most of the students get gabrified. Huh? It's a mankus. What is it? Mankus, remember? Nakasa, nakis, mankus. You know, it's a muffled, something that has been made weak, you know, fine. So, but then here, I start with huh? ma, she, yung. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ma, she, yung. Okay, now it is mashaya. From there, you made it in, on the pattern of fa'ilun. But here, because there is a ya, and before there is a kasra, okay, so this ya is chopped. And because there was a tanmin here, you give it an extra tanmin. Compensate it for chopping this. Give something to poor, uh, you know, Aim Kalima. Uh, you took out the Lam Kalima. So it became Ma Shin. Uh. Ma Shin. See, now it has got Tanmin Kasra. But tell me, is it Marfu or Mansu? Or, uh, it is Marfu. Uh. It is Marfu. And now this is what we are going to study in detail later on. It is Marfu. Okay, how do I say? How do I say? Say the English. It is uh, marfu. Uh, and what is the sign of its marfu? There, there is an estimated dhamma. Where is that estimated dhamma? Uh, on the ya that was dropped. No, you will say ya. No, here in this particular case, you will say ya. Huh, but no, no, yeah, I will tell you now. This is in English. It is marfu. It is marfu by a dhamma, mukhadara, estimated dhamma, on the ya which has been dropped. Now say it in Arabic, brother. Failun or, or you can say muptada, whatever. Ismun you can say. Ismun marfun wa alamatu raf'ihi. Adammatul Mukaddara Alal Yai Mezufati. What will you say? Ala Yail Mezufati. You will get used to it. I I am only telling you a little bit, brother and sisters. You will get used to it. Are you with me? Alal Yai Mezufati. If I say that, did you understand? On the Ya, which is dropped. Alal Yai Mezufati. Huh? Huh? Why Ya'i? Because Ya is a Mu'annas. All the letters of alphabet are Mu'annas. Fine. And if it is Fi or Min there, then you will repeat the same thing, huh? but you will say Ism is Majroor. Now when it is Mansu, brothers and sisters, then the Ya comes out. And it will become ma shi yan. No longer mukaddara. Only in the marfu form and in majroor form it is mukaddara. Brothers and sisters, this is just a little explanation. Because we are going to do it in the book uh, 3, lesson number 1. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, same way, brothers and sisters, what is the, the ism file from Samma Musammiyun? 
What is it? Uh, what is it, brother? Mu sam musammi yun. Brother Hassan, we, we remove this and then give a trakasa. Musam min. Huh? Musam min. Okay? And then here we say Musam man. Are you with me, brother and sister? Musam man. Huh? Okay. Not going too much in detail, but it is like that. Okay. Fine. So if I give, if I make this mashi, mashin, definite, how will I write down? Huh? Al ma shi. Huh? Now I will bring the ya out. Huh? Okay? Are you with me? Now how do I define this? Ismu marfun. Wa alamatu rafa'i. Where is the alamat of rafa? Mukaddara, where? On ya. Huh? Wa alamatu rafa'i. Adamatul mukaddara. Alalya. Alalya. Okay, are you with me? In this case, Brother Hassan, the ya is there. It is actually al mashi you. But you will say al mashi. Why are you doing these things here? Because these are derived from nakis verb. When the lam kalima is nakis, we, 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 we have to do all these things, you know. So it requires extra understanding of verbs. And brothers and sisters, that is the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim's books. Now if you reflect on it, brother, how we started book two, how we learned the verbs, slowly, 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 he made us strong. And then we, when we came to lesson 29, bang, uh, the knockers came. But we were ready for it. With just little understanding, uh, we mastered it. Uh, Inshallah, you will master this. If you are strong in lesson 29 in book 2, lesson 28 in book 2, khalas, you will have no problems, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, we come to Salah. We come to Salah. Are you with me? Salah. Salah, ya. Father, Salla. <laughs> you got to get, uh, you got to see, when you see the Fatah, don't make any changes. Salla. Huh? You only drop the uh, Lam Kalima because it is weak. Huh? Salla. Sallaya. Sallahu. Sallat. Sallata. Sallayna. Sallayta. See? Huh? Al Sallayta. Al salaiti means did you pray? Huh? Al salaita salat al zohar. Huh? Al salaiti salat al zohar or salat al maghrib salat al maful bihi. Huh? Salat al. Fine, brother and sister. Now we come to mudahriya. Are you with me? Yusalli, yusalliyani. Now you can say you salloon. Huh? Easy, brother. Now, you see, it will become your second nature. You will have no difficulty, brother. Huh? And whenever you read Quran, you will see all these things coming to you. And you will understand. Huh? Brother? You salluna. Tu salli. Tu salliyani. You sallina. Anta. Tu salli. Tu salliyani. Tu salluna. Tu sallina. Tu salliyani. Tu sallina. Usalli, I pray. Nusalli, we are praying. Are you with me, man, sister? Amar. Salli, and then? Salliya. And then? Sallu, because you salluna. Okay, brothers and sisters? Let me write down. Huh? Let me write down. You salluna. Are you with me, brother? You shall luna, brother Hassan. Chop, chop. 
<laughs> okay, what is the verb now? Sajnu. Kelu amrin. Mabniun ala hazfi. Where is the file? In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna. You see? Yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu. Okay? Brother, I forgot here. I made an error here. Huh? Okay? So what is now? Huh? Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi. Wasallimu, and that is also coming from here. Sallimu, tasliman. What is tasliman? Master. Now, what is this master doing here? How I define it in Arabic? Brothers, are you listening? Mafulun mutlak. Are you with me? This is how the Mafulun mutlak comes for further emphasizes. You cannot translate it. Huh? So you bring the master of the verb, huh? of the verb that is you are using it in the sentence and make it mansub for emphasis. Again I tell you, in Allah, see now you can analyze this. Huh? You can analyze this. In Allah, Yusalluna Yusalluna Ala Nabi Ya Ayyuhal Ladhina Amanu Sallu Alayhi wa sallimu Taslima Brothers and sisters So now you can take this verse of the Quran And analyze it And when you say this No translation You understand in Arabic And understand it fully brother Again, I'll repeat. In Allah, in made Allah mansub. Huh? Where is the, the Allah is the ismu in the, Where is khabar in the? In Allah, wa malaikatahu matufun ala yusalluna. This is your khabar. Yusalluna ala nabi. Yeah. And then a new sentence starts. We'll analyze it later, inshallah, in detail. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi. Now here the amr comes. And vav is antum. Allah is speaking to you. Huh? When you read the Quran, he's speaking to us. Sallu alayhi. Wa sallimu taslima. Now everybody says taslima. Huh? But it is actually Tasliman. Huh? And what is this Tasliman? It is the master, Bab Tafail, from Salama. So Salimu Tasliman. You brought that master and made it Mansu. Huh? Because all Mafulun Mutlak are Mansu. And this is done for further emphasis. What is it done for? Further emphasis, brother. You cannot translate this. This is the beauty uh, and the power and the magic of Arabic language. And we have to learn it. And brothers and sisters, I again tell you, we are trying to learn Arabic in order to understand the Quran. We do not have to you know, become scholars of Arabic to understand Quran. Just the basic things in Arabic language and which Dr. Abdurrahim has so beautifully put together in these three books. If you understand these three books, it is good for us to understand Quran. 85%. Now what will happen for the next 15%? There are still rules which are not covered. And then inshallah you will do it on your own. Huh? Or when Dr. Abdurrahim comes, he will give us ex special classes. 